What's up, good people? Thank you for tuning in to 4722 Dominique. Yes, I'm coming at you guys with the twist style. I took the time to twist my hair all in the front and come up with this creative style. So if you are interested in seeing how I achieve this look, just stay tuned. This is the front view, of course, that you're watching. This is the side view. This is the other side view. And I just simply flat iron the back with my sheet flat iron. Flat iron, excuse me. However, I would like to warn you, the next clip that's coming up, I'm going to be introducing this video again because I didn't know that, well, actually, I wanted to do the finished look first, and I didn't really realize that I'm so used to coming on camera introducing myself. I did it when I was getting ready to come, you know, start to create the style. So please excuse the little, um, the little boo-boo that I did in that. But I just wanted to let you know before the clip come in, you're like, golly, what she doing? She already introduced the video. But anyway, I wanted the finished work to be first. So this is the style again that I achieved with the twist out. So if you are interested in seeing how I came up with this look and I named it um, the twist out. Excuse me. Let me back up. If you are interested in seeing how I achieved this look, stay tuned and take a look at the clip coming up. And also, what was I going to say? Something I was going to say. I don't know. God, I just had a brain fart just that that fast i cut my own stuff off anyway just stay tuned for the clip coming up next so you can see how i came up with this creative style creative style that i named that's it that i named the twist out because i just simply parted these in the squares twisted up and then did a cute little pin up so just stay tuned so you can see how i came up with this creative look all right What's up, good people? Today I'm coming at you guys with a hairstyle I call the twist out. So for time's sake, like I always say, let's get started because this is kind of time consuming. But then again, if you're quick with your fingers, it shouldn't take long. I think what I'm going to do is just go ahead and do maybe half of it and come back on or whatever do it take to and come back with the finished result. But anyway, what you're going to do is you need uh, your rat tail comb and you're going to part your hair from ear to ear okay and as you can see the back part I have it in a complete ponytail because what I'm going to do with the back is just flat iron it straight down um anyway let's go ahead and get started I've already did some of them but you're going to take your hair and just kind of um make little ponytails out of it like that in sections and then I'm just gonna twist those out and you need a little tray of black rubber bands like that. That's what I have. And my slick. Y'all know how I feel about my slick. I have to have my slick now. And I'm using my Silk Elements Heat Protected because it has um, shine as well. It's not just the heat protected, but it's for shine. And just some, you're going to need some clamps. No barbie pins this time. Maybe a squeezy to kind of hold this part of your hair back. But anyway. Oops, sorry y'all. Be careful because I already got that part right there. So, and I'm looking over here because I have my mirror right, right here. Maybe I should have put it on the other side. Let's see. Yeah. Wait to see what I'm doing. All right, I'm gonna take a rubber band. I'm gonna slit. Take just a little bit of slit. Just a because I washed my hair last night. I'm still using my Apogee, y'all. And I use the Moroccan oil shampoo and conditioner when I do relaxes. And it's not quite time for my relaxer yet, so. All right, I'm going to take that roll band and just kind of put it. You don't have to put it tight, really tight, unless that's just the way you want it. I can't stand that tight on my hair. But anyway, you're going to take it. Your two strands and pull it together to make that tight. Like that. And pull it out to make it tight. And it don't have to be straight because it's all going to come up like that anyway. It don't have to be straight. Okay. Now you're just going to take another piece like that. And you can make them as big. Or as small as you want them to be. It's up to you how you want to do it. Like that piece was a little too big. So I'll take a little bit of my slit. 
You kind of go over it like that. Put my rubber band on. And this is a cute little style for, um, you know, your natural hair. Yes, I am relaxed. I'm not natural, but you can take it for, um, if you don't want to have any extensions or, you know, put in no weave or nothing like that. This is good for, like, relaxed hair. Just no extensions or anything like that. Just something cute. Now, you can add extensions to this particular style if you want to. You can add hair into it. I just choose not to for this because I feel like personally for my hair, um, I think I got enough to pull this particular little off without having to go that route. Okay, and take a little bit more sleep. You know, just kind of make it shine a little bit more. And I know y'all probably saying, God, dog, Dominique, you don't never care about your parts. I, um, sorry, I kind of don't <laughs> because once you get the style and all that stuff going, it don't really matter. You are gonna hide it with your hair when you pull it up. It don't make a difference unless you just, like I said, some people just perfection. It's like that. Not the last one. For that and for your baby hairs, you can leave like I'm doing some of your edges out so you can you'll see um for the final results so you can kind of slick that up a little bit. <clears throat> okay. Now when you get closer to your edges, you need to be careful because you don't want to make it so tight along here where it starts to pop your edges off. You you want to avoid that. And if this is getting confusing like the back pieces, you can always take your clamp and just pin it up. Get it out your way. All right, now I'm going to take another piece and do the same thing. Repeat the same pattern. And because, right, if you, okay, if you have bangs in the middle of your hair, these middle pieces are going to be a little bit thinner. It's not going to be as full as your size. So you can make your um, middle part, your middle um, twist, do them small. So you can have that same effect. Like those outside pieces I did kind of big. But right up in here. I may just do that. Yeah. Do it small. Oh look at my gray. Coming back. I don't care how many times I rinse my hair. That gray just won't stay gone. My mom said, you just need to learn how to go ahead and grow old gracefully. <laughs> I am, but I don't want it showing. Okay. Now, this is going to be a thin one, like I told y'all. Because this is the part where my bangs are cut. So, it's smaller than the other pieces. And again, y'all, don't y'all trip about these parts. I'm telling you, it's not going to make a difference. By the time I get to the end results, you will see. Pull it. There you go. And I'm going to do this last one. And then I'm going to come back on here with the finished result. I would just want to come so you can at least see how to get started. I got about that much more to go. So I'll be sitting right here finishing this up.
Well, then again, I don't know. I don't know what order I'm going to do this in. I may come back, put the um, clip in front of the video where I'm already done with it. I don't know. We'll see. Either way, you'll get to see how it turned out. Oh, they got my grades showing right there. Okay, see? All right. And I'm going to flat iron that piece by piece with my cheek flat iron. Okay. Small slit. All right. Y'all stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right, y'all. I've finished with um with all the little rubber bands, so now it's time to begin the uh the twist out. All right. I'm gonna get some of the hair. I got my face so I can know what section I'm working with, and you don't want to mix it all up. You need to have a clamp somewhere to have all that hair at your face. And as you can see, everything is done in little squares all the way through. Little ponytails. That's what you're going to do on both sides. But I got the clamp covered. And I still got that in the back because I hadn't started on that yet. So, let's go ahead and start with the twist out. And it's up to you how you want to start. I'll go ahead and start, I guess, with these two on the bottom. We got another clamp right here, too. And I'm going to do a few of these just so you can get the general idea. And you're just going to do the two-strand twist with this. Just take two little pieces like that and just twist it out. Keep pulling it so it can remain tight. And this hairstyle right here should actually last you, I'll say, maybe about three or four days, maybe a week if you sleep with your hair tied up with the twist. It should last you about a week. Okay, you're going to need another rubber band on the end and these rubber bands are so tight which is good they're so small and they're, they're like so tight and you can get them from your local uh, hair stores okay there and it looks just like that and it helps because I can even see my split ends right there that I need to clip them out with my hair clip scissors while I'm at it, but I'm not gonna do that for time, not on this video. Okay, there you go. That's one. All right, and keep on twisting all the way down. All right, and I hope y'all, um, y'all 
respond. Let me know if y'all liking these little hairstyles and you want, want me to keep them coming. Um, I just been feeling a little inspired lately um, with hair and trying to change my look up from time to time. I got some good um, response from that mohawk um, high bun tutorial that I did. Thank y'all so much. I really appreciate the overwhelming response to that video. And again, it's the uh, high bun mohawk uh, tutorial. It did really well in a matter of a couple of days. So I'm going to keep, keep those coming as well. A little simple styles like that. Okay. It looking like peppermint patty right now, but I mean not peppermint patty, pippy long stocking, but that's okay. All right, I'm gonna let a little bit more down and see how loose that seems be right there. You can adjust it by just pulling your strands together and, and it tighten it right up. <clears throat> I'm going to start with the top one. Okay, and just go ahead. And you're going to just do. Oh, Lord. Hang on, y'all. You're just going to twist your hair out like that all over till you get all the way to that side over there. Just a two strand twist all the way down. Just like that. And um, my makeup look today, I just did maybe like a nice pink um, to go with this pink in my shirt. That's about it. And these earrings bring out that turquoise look. And then I tried to do pink and incorporate a little turquoise here and um, do a little smoke it out. And the creases, you can't really see it because I got this extra light shining. Well, you can't really, it's not picking up on this camera good anyway. And anyway, finish with that twist. <clears throat> twist out. And I'm doing my Hades NYX on my lips with my Ruby Kisses. I don't change if something really working for me. And I'm wearing blush today. I don't know if you can tell, but... It's some kind of pink blush or something. I don't even know what it is, but I know. I think it's Ruby Kisses, too. Plum, that's it. Okay. And I'm going to do this last one. Then I'll come back again with the finished results. By then, I'll be the flat iron in the back of my hair with my chief flat iron piece by piece. That's going to be very time consuming. But. Once you put in the time, that's why the hairstyle may last maybe three, I'll say about five days if you keep it tied up. Because this is not going to go anywhere with these twists. And I'll come back and let y'all see the finished results. Because I'm not going to leave the twists, you know, kind of sticking, looking like spider legs all the way out. I'm going to do a pretty pin up in the top with them and just have the back hanging straight. That's how I'm going to do that. Okay. 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 There we go. All right. I'll be back again with the final results.